My name is Farmer Danielle. We're here at Laura Deering Elementary School and today I will be working with two first grade classes. The first class will be doing a lesson and we will be learning about plant parts and then we're going to head into the garden and watch some bees do some pollinating. And then with the second class they will be doing a little bit of maintenance with me and that involves planting seeds, picking vegetables, things like that. Green Our Planet's goal is to get teachers in schools using the garden as an outdoor classroom. Often when you get kids working outdoors, they get really excited and really animated and sometimes it's a bit hard to control them. The first thing we do is we mention that the garden is a classroom and we always set three rules so that the students understand that they do have to follow rules just like in the classroom. Those rules are no running, only touching plants with one finger, and then to respect all living things. If I was a ladybug, I would not like to be picked up. And usually if you give them specific directions, they follow directions pretty well. Uh, it's just important to announce to them that the garden is a classroom and it's a place where we can learn science. And not only science about plants, but physical science and even English and math. My name is Farmer Danielle and you guys remember the reason why I'm here. That's to teach you all about gardening and plants and nature. Yeah, right. So rule number one is that you can touch anything you want, but only oh, touch with one, one finger. One, yeah. Walking. Oh, walking. Yep, yeah. rule number two Walk is walking. Over right it. Right but what about respecting all living things? Yeah. That's the most important rule. Okay. Awesome. If this seed grows, then what happens next? Does it just stay that size forever? Oh. What happens? It'll grow. It'll get bigger and bigger. Right? First graders are often learning about plant parts and very simple plant anatomy. So today we are doing a little diagram and discussing the functions of plant parts so that students can understand that plants are living things, they grow, every part has a function, and then we did a little bit of observation to see what types of vegetables we eat are also functional plant parts. What is this thing? A carrot! It's a carrot! But how, wait, what makes this a root? The yeah. bottom. The bottom. And you can tell because they're long and kind of stringy, like the ones I drew in the picture. But did you guys ever think about the fact that when you eat a carrot, you're actually eating a root? Yeah. You thought about that? Broccoli. <laughs> it's not broccoli. So I want you to find an open spot, find a spot that is darker than the rest, and we are going to plant two types of wonderful vegetables. Do you guys want to know? What types of vegetables we're planting? Yeah. We are planting green beans. Yeah. And then we are planting spinach. Yeah. 